What would you do if you would have been called names all through school and then as a young adult, all of a sudden the mean girls are being kidnapped by a serial killer? Would you try to help them or would you just bathe yourself in the glory of knowing that they are getting what has been coming to them? This is the main premise of the movie Piggy, original Spanish title Cerdita. And if you want to know what our lead character is deciding to do about this situation, then join me for this short review video. Sarah is a young girl living in the Spanish countryside. Being bullied all through high school, even by her best friend who turned on her, the torture never stopped even now that school is over, because her bullies are still living in the neighborhood and they are still calling her names. To be precise, they are calling her Piggy, because Sarah happens to be overweight. One day, when the shy girl was taking a bath in a place where she was hoping no one would see her because she is ashamed of her body, her bullies are doing the worst thing they can do, that is stealing her clothes, so that she had to walk down the whole way home in her underwear. No wonder then that when a dirty van drove by and the driver stopped to give her a blanket to cover herself, that she didn't feel much sympathy when she noticed that out of the back of the car she could see the blood smeared face of one of her torturers, apparently being kidnapped by the guy. While the whole town is looking for the three missing girls, Sarah has to decide if she helps them or if she gets her revenge by just keeping her mouth shut. This movie was actually one of those that I really looked forward to and from a technical standpoint it completely delivered. The movie had some nice special effects, all other technical values were high and the acting was convincing, especially Laura Galan as Sarah in the lead. It obviously was very important to the makers of this movie to bring her character across as sympathetic, as relatable and also to treat her with respect. The movie never tried to make fun of her or to just humiliate her or to make her a cheap joke or something along those lines. But is that enough to really make it a great movie? Because while most critics were hailing this movie for being so socially conscious and praising the atmosphere and everything around this movie, there were some things that really struck me as being not that great. And unfortunately I cannot touch on those in the regular rating because those are containing spoilers. So I will do that in the spoiler zone at the end of this review video. And as I just realized, that leaves me with very little that I can say to you about the movie in the actual review part. So most of that needs to be postponed and get into the spoiler zone. What I can say though is that a lot of the things that were celebrated are present in the movie, but if you have a closer look and think about what the implications are, then it is not that great. But on the plus side, the atmosphere of a movie was convincing and it was pretty much a fun ride for most of the time. Though at the end of a movie, due to the implications I just hinted to, the end result was not as good as one would have imagined. And with that said, let's get into the rating. As I said, the movie was not as convincing to me as it was to most other critics. It was not a bad movie though. It was definitely above average. So at least 6 out of 10 points should be a given. But can I score more than that? Room for improvement there was a lot, so I think I should not go with a 7, but I want to also consider and value the attempt that the movie made. It really wanted, and I truly believe that, to be an advocate against fat shaming, which is a nice sentiment. But as I mentioned before, if you look a little bit closer, then this, unfortunately, is not really the message that the movie brings across. And with that being said, I'm scoring this one with 6.5 out of 10 points, having it caught somewhere between nice and good. So now, if you don't want to get spoiled but enjoyed this video so far, please like it now before you leave. And if you are not a subscriber yet, then maybe consider to change that. By also hitting the notification bell, you will get a heads up for most of my new videos. And now, if you don't mind spoilers or have already watched the movie, please follow me into the spoiler zone. Okay, I will try to make it short. The one thing that is quite important for the movie is the fact that the killer is falling in love with Sarah. From the first time he saw her, he tried to impress her and he was following her sometimes, which culminated in him kidnapping her and bringing her to the place where the other three girls are being held and are still alive. 
When confronted with the ultimate choice of either helping them or killing the killer who is in love with her, she chose to help the girls and killed the murderer. Which is on one hand good for her, rejecting him because she doesn't have to just take him just because he was the only one interested in her. But here's the catch. Even though this is a positive turn in her life, nothing really changed for her. The girls who were bullying her were even calling her names when they were hanging from meat hooks, fearing for their lives. So saving them didn't change much for her and didn't give her any satisfaction. It likely will just continue, which on the social study level will tell us as a message, even if you are doing the right thing, things might not change for you and your bullies will just keep on doing what they always did. It was also highly unsatisfying from a horror movie standpoint. Because of course in real life nobody would hope that the girls would be killed by the killer. But in a horror movie that is something one can enjoy because it's not real. And it would have been a nice catharsis for Sarah if she would have let get them what was coming to them. She still could have rejected the killer afterwards and keeping her integrity. But there's another fact that I have not mentioned yet. And that is that the killer was also portrayed as being a little bit mentally challenged. Which was a pity because in the beginning I thought the killer had a nice angle and was just trying to kill everyone who is a bully. Being some kind of a justice warrior going to an extreme. But unfortunately that was not true because soon after you could see that a waitress who seems to be molested by one of the customers was also found dead alongside the guy. So he was not a bully killer. And with that in mind the movie seems to say if you are heavily overweight then the only person who might be interested in you are those who have mental issues. And that is not a message that I think is considered to be positive. So at the end of the day this movie was not convincing on the horror level though it had its moments. But the ending was just not what it could have been. And if you consider the social aspect, then the movie also did not really have the message that everyone wanted to see in it. At least if you look a little bit closer. What about you? What do you think? Should she have let them die? Or was it correct for her to save them? Do you think I was interpreting too much into it? Or were others just not looking as close as I did? I would really be interested in your opinion after you watched the movie. So please come back then and let me know what you think. And until then I just say so much for now, see you next time and thanks for watching.